Welcome back to The Bible Says What? Today I am going to summarize Genesis chapter 1 where the Bible details how the beginning of our material existence began. Moses explained the different days and what God created on those days. In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. On the first day God created light and separated light from the darkness. God called the light day and he called the darkness night. Then Moses specified that there was evening and morning of the first day. On the second day, Moses detailed for us that God made a vault, which was an air pocket inside an incredibly large amount of water. Some translations call the air bubble the firmament. And God called the large air bubble sky. And there was evening and morning of the second day. On the third day, Moses wrote that God gathered up all the water on the underside of the air bubble into one place and made dry ground appear. And he called the ground land. The water he gathered up was called seas. Then God said, let the land produce all kinds of vegetation and fruit plants. Moses specified that God started calling his creation good at this point. On the fourth day, Moses wrote for us that God made the sun and the moon and put them inside the air bubble or the firmament. He created them to separate the day from the night for them to serve as signs to mark special times and to record days and years. And as almost an afterthought, Moses wrote, he also made the stars. God said that what he made was good this time too. And there was evening and there was morning of the fourth day. On the fifth day, Moses wrote that God made all kinds of different creatures of the sea and all the different kinds of birds. And he blessed them and told them to be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth. God continued to say that what he made was good. And there was evening and morning of the fifth day. On the sixth day, Moses wrote for us that God created all the different kinds of creatures that live on the land. Then God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. We see something interesting here. Moses, as directed by the Holy Spirit, wrote that God was speaking to himself by using the words us and our. Was Moses recording the first instance, 26 verses from the very beginning of the Bible of the Trinity? It's God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. In my opinion, the answer is yes. God said mankind was to have dominion over the fish, birds, cattle, creeping animals, and the earth itself. He was supposed to take care of them all and ensure he managed it properly. God blessed mankind and told them to be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth, and subdue it. God mentioned that he gave mankind every herb and every fruit tree to eat all they wanted and gave the same to all the animals. Then Moses recorded that God saw everything he had made and it was very good this time. The most important verses in this chapter are Genesis 1, 26 and 27 which state, And God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image, in the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. In my opinion, there are two things that God wants us to understand after reading this chapter. The first is the fact that God specifically said that he created everything. Secondly, he wants us to know we are made in his image. We are like him in many ways, and we are his most prized creation. Have you ever trusted in Jesus for salvation? Repent for your sin, turn from it, and ask God to forgive you. Place your faith in Jesus and what he did on the cross. Believe that he rose from the dead. Scripture says that you will be eternally saved if you do. Do it today. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, give it a thumbs up. 
and share it with somebody. See you next time.